The Proofpoint and CyberArt partnership protects privileged users with a people-centric approach. Now we'll be going through both of these use cases today. The first one we'll be talking about is automated remediation for potentially compromised privileged users. So to get started, the CyberArc and Proofpoint integration are part of the discovery module for the SCIM server. As a first step, the discovery module needs to be enabled in the global configuration file. You need to set the following in the discovery configuration file. The endpoint parameter can be equal to sim response so that the appropriate remediation can be taken when users click on a phishing link. Schedule for the polar, and we recommend to set this to every 15 minutes. And to enable it, set the value to true to make it active, and to disable user, set the response action to disable user. We created a group called Proofpoint Fish Users. And right now you can see here that it is currently empty. And as we scroll down here, we can see Mike is a member of the group Vault Admins. Now that we've configured the integration, we're gonna go ahead and start the CyberArt SCIM service. The log reports that certain actions have been taken by the job. And upon going back to the Proofpoint Fished users group, it shows users, including Mike, identified as potentially fished by Proofpoint. And you will now notice that Mike has been removed from the Vault Admins group. Hence, if Mike's credentials were indeed compromised, then the threat actor won't be able to use Mike's account to perform any admin functions. And upon logging into Mike's account, we can confirm that certain critical administrative privileges have been revoked. And this is done because of the phishing signal received from Proofpoint. As a best practice, we recommend that customers set conditional access for CyberArk users that may be compromised. Customers have a lot of flexibility in the level of access that they can set. The ticketing integration with the SCIM server can be used to perform conditional access flow. And the system configuration provides a lot of flexibility with regards to setting up that conditional access for potentially fished users. And again, in this example, Mike, who is potentially fished, is attempting to access credentials to a Unix server. However, CyberArk blocks access since he had clicked on a phishing link. He can, however, access the server in a secure session, ensuring that we do not impact the user experience for the end user. The second use case allows CyberArk to import a list of VIP users from Proofpoint and move them to a group with restricted access and set additional policies. As we go through here and look up the VAP group, 
and click into it, you can see that it is currently empty. So as next steps, we create a policy such that every session of users in the VAP group is recorded. And another policy can be created to deny certain privileges to that VAP group. So let me log in as Mike, and since Mike isn't a member of the VAP group yet, his session isn't going to be recorded. Now we're going to activate the VAP integration and start the service. The log shows that certain actions have been taken. If we now open the VAP group, you will notice that Mike has been added to it. And upon logging in as Mike, each and every session will now be recorded by Privileged Session Manager since he is part of the VAP group.